and then we can go live on here. You're gonna hear the annoying lady with the Siri voice. Hey, Siri, yeah. <laughs> it's always yeah. a white lady. It's always some white lady. So before yeah. we start, you got the topics, huh? Uh, played out anime tropes, recent anime news, new school versus old school. Ooh. And then, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't come up with any uh, new school versus old school matchups. The one I had, you know, y'all got me out the paint really early about that <laughs> one. So y'all can, you know what I'm saying? Come on, someone to fly. Yeah. Well, with someone to fly. Yeah, let's just do those couple of things. I know we're gonna get the uh we're gonna get the boxing in a second soon. Somebody throws a ball out there. So what we're gonna do is everybody just try to minimize the over talking. And like if you got something to say, raise your hand like we in school and you know, remember your place <laughs> in line. You don't, you don't oh, actually yeah. have to raise your hand, but but you know we don't want we want people to get their points across. No, gesture. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I got you. All right, let's do it. All right. All right. <laughs> She's annoying. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, boys. She catches me off guard every. Time. No bullshit yeah. though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, bro, like that shit sound like some police shit right there. Like, yeah, I got <laughs> oh, your ass. God. But nah, but uh, the live boys. Oh, I thought she was gonna do the opening, bro. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to a new episode of season two premiere Nerds Who Rock Jays. I'm your host, well, one of your hosts, LK, L Kizzy, the guy, you know me. You know, I'm here with some good friends of mine. I'm here with my co-host, Dab Daddy Don. I'm also here with Puffco Poppy, Sniper Elite, Kage, and Will the Thrill. Will the Thrill. And we it's have first, a that's his first rodeo right here, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a couple, it's a couple first mm-hmm. rodeos. I like mm-hmm. this. I like this. Now, what, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna let my man Sniper host, and I'll be in the background you know, uh, managing the chat and starting fights and uh, letting everybody know what everybody's saying in the chat. So the honors is yours. Yes, sir. So I guess first thing on the table, we should start with the news, man. The anime news. We had a couple crazy things in anime going on in manga. As you know, the the writer, creator, Jujutsu Kaisen is on on an indefinite hiatus. Like, we don't know how long he's going to be gone for health reasons, man. Man, that's terrible. Hey, it's it's crazy, man. Like that's that's really messed up. But did y'all ever notice that a lot of the cool mangas and animes the creators have some type of mysterious illness that stops <laughs> them from like continuing what they nice. got going on? Bro, it's the, I laugh, yeah. but it's not funny. The berserk dude died, bro. He died last month. That's crazy. Didn't get defended. Like, bro, what are they doing to these people, bro? Yeah, it's what you alluded to. It's the workload. It's the um, the culture of hyper capitalism that they have over there as well. And like I said, like like we kind of talked about it before in our chat. You know, the week before, just you know, just in our normal chat. But like, you know, I'm a big fan of just American comic books, and it takes forever. And those books get delayed all the time. And those writers are not drawing their own books for the most part, and they're not doing all the workload on their own with small staffs with having to crank out deadlines every Friday. Not to mention the pressure. If your story starts to get hot, then, you know, you get the pressure from the fans as well. Like, oh, you missing a week? You know, we want a week of our, you know, show. And you know, the pressure to end it, the pressure to, from the editorial to keep the story going. Once it's popular, you might only want to go 100 chapters, but then Shonen Jump's like, oh, we need 200 now because it's too hot. You're our moneymaker now. And then, you know, having to balance the, the money-making aspect with the creative aspect while not getting burnt out. Like I said, it's a yep. constant trend. They're continually burning these uh, artists out. Yeah, and not even just the, uh, burning them out from stamina, burning out the ideas. Like they're trying to run out ideas, and the story was done. You should have just let the creator do what they were supposed to do. You know who did that and failed really, really poorly? Um, I'm not going to name the main one, which was Bleach, but uh, of course, um, Damn. Se- se- Seven Deadly Sins, bro. Yep, I agree. Man, they 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 ended it, then brought it back. But like a whole another arc or two, and it was like this is garbage. Like stuff's just happening, 
with no rhyme or reason. Yeah. I think a lot of that happened because um, of that game that came out. They were like, oh, the game's kind of taking off or we want the game to take off. Again, hypercapitalism. And it just mm. ruined it because they said, hey, how are we having this game, but we have no new content to put on there and make new stuff? Yeah, that was a horrible well, decision by them. Go for it. Well, I was going to say, I'll say for the seven deadly sins aspect, though, it was the fact that you can continue with the seven, seven deadly sins and have new people be the new successors of the seven, seven sins. You know what I mean? Like, have, have Meliodas still being Meliodas, but have different people being the new seven deadly sins. That, that probably would have been the correct way to go about it. But because, so with companies, for example, like toy makers, when they have notable characters, they don't want you to change the characters. They just want you to make new stories for those same characters so they can still capitalize off of the money, the monetary value that they're gaining from those characters, which is unfortunate. Hey, yep. hey, guys, I got somebody in the chat. Dre says, what's up? And he says, I'm glad that didn't happen to Ruby after Monty Oom died. Oum, Oum, I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Monty, the creator of Ruby. Uh, um, to be honest, I think Ruby did get drawn out, dragged out. I don't know if any of you guys watched Ruby. Ruby was a really, really cool like creation that a guy named Monty Oum made off, off pretty much YouTube with some low-budget stuff. Blew up, came a show partner with um rooster rooster i forgot it was rooster yep uh, i forgot it was called. yeah yeah just rooster i think and um ruby has gone on too long in my opinion though they're on like season freaking nine now or something like that and i'm i'm honestly over it <laughs> yeah i didn't know it went on for that long i was watching it um i did i loved the progression of how super crappy the uh animation was and watched them really progress and actually get it down I forget what program they were using, but apparently a lot of people were using it back in the, back at that time, and they kind of made it popular. They said, yeah, this one is definitely one you can actually use in real life. Yeah. Yeah, Monty's responsible for a bunch of great, like, random YouTube gems. And uh, Dre says it's Rooster Teeth. Rooster, Rooster Teeth. Teeth. Yeah. Wait. There you go. What about Rooster Teeth? They, that's, um, um, they, they publish, they pub publicize Ruby. Oh, really? That's a big company. Yeah. Ruby. I fuck with that joint. Yeah, yeah. Ru I mean, Ruby's cool. The first, like, couple seasons is dope, but after a while, it gets drawn out, and it's the same characters for, like, nine seasons, so you like, all right, I'm kind of over their story now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, honestly, I mean, it, honestly, it's kind of, like, the same for me with, like, Loop on the Third. Like, again, I fuck mm. with it. Like, I fuck with it hard. Like, again, like, that's my shit. I've been watching that joint since I was, like, nine years old. But it's like, mm -hmm. it's like, bro, like, come on now. Like, what more can you give with this nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, what right. more can you... What How more many can times you, you gonna get played by the same girl? Still <laughs> <Exactly>. chasing short. <laughs> exactly. It's like, come on, bro. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. Who pumping every damn way? Germany? Mm -hmm. Like how much shit you gotta steal, nigga? Like Ex exactly, bro. Like and the thing, <laughs> and the thing is, bro. Like eventually, like you gotta get tired of that shit, bro. Like and like you know, what I'm saying go to a new avenue or something, bro. You want to know how old Lupin is? Lupin's older than One Piece. Mm. Oh yeah, no, Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, oh yeah, no, my I'm hip. God, I'm hip. No, I'm already hip. No, like I think, I think that, I think that manga started like maybe like in the seventies. Yeah, yeah. I don't know when, but One Piece is just part of that shown in weekly release schedule that's what makes it amazing that it, it just keeps coming out and it's just like consistently just episode after episode it's kind of insane that it's that's what i told to nick it. i was like bro you've literally been watching one piece your whole entire life so yeah, that's yeah. mm -hmm. every single week if one piece <laughs> shits out like a, a horseshit episode or a bottle episode, you'd probably be like, God damn, I could have got some hands in this. And you got to wait till next week. That's mm. that's tedious. God damn. Oh, that uh, creator, though, I don't know how he does it. Like, he literally has to found the youth, man, because he don't he don't take breaks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The consistency oh, is what's that. astounding. Like, bro, like, yeah, he's, he's still at this story, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but you got to think about it. I mean, it's, if people is actually watching, paying, and uh, giving him emails, letters saying like, oh, I like this show. Like, please continue to continue with. Oh, yeah. People are going to definitely pay him, you know what I'm saying, to uh, keep continue that shit, though. 
Yeah, he's. I think he's probably in the top five earners of manga artists. Mm-hmm. That'd be. Oh, I remember uh, the topic that I had. It was, um, has your top five changed in the last five years? Mm. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Way, yeah. Way, way definitely. Way definitely. Mm. Five years. Man, yeah, last five, five, years. five years. Yeah, it, it definitely has. I, I can definitely agree. What, what what did you have to usurp, and what is the new entrant? Jujutsu. Yeah, I can't even lie, bro. Jujutsu Hey, nah, and another one that I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if people been hit to the joint. How not to summon the demon lord. But is that in your top five though? No, no, no. Uh it's just nah. it's a good one, but I don't think yeah, that's top yeah. five level. Yeah. All right, all right, top five. Honestly, I, I probably had to say Dragon Ball Z, of course, and shit though. Uh Naruto, Judicial Kaisen, One Piece, and Black Clover. Wait, why is you just a kind of you? P- I, I'm, I'm gonna say this though, nah, like real shit though, because of the aspect of it's fighting and it's like they actually mix the sorcery. It's like not like how compared to other the bullshit, like they put like fucking magic, like and they come out his hands, it's fucking flames and shit. Like, nah, like with this shit, it's more detailed. You know what I'm saying? Like with cuz summoning it's like shadow creatures, bro. Like that shit like that, bro. I can't yeah. lie. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Not yeah. Yeah. I agree 100 percent 100 percent Jujutsu Kaisen came out of nowhere and it is top 10, top five material. Most definitely it should though. Top five, dog. Uh, you, not man. Not man. I mean, not man. Mm, and we talking about anime or manga? Anime. Anime. Nah, man. Nah, nah, man. Like one season. You know what I'm saying? Like it's hard to cry. It's dope. Like it, it's it's on its way to being in the top five, but it's hard when it's like so early in its run. Yeah. I mean, if it's in your personal favorite of top fives, sure, sure, by all means, have at it. But not, not, not my top five. Not I'm be honest, my I, top five. I read the manga, so I know where it's gonna go, mm-hmm. and and that's why I'm like, I can see that being in somebody's top five based on where it's mm-hmm. going, because where it's where it's left off at right now, it's just heat after heat after heat. Yeah, and you're just sick. like, this <laughs> joint is crazy. No bullshit, though. Now the manga is it's fire. Like that's why I was like, it's on its way to being there. Like, cause the, the, at least they got like two or three more seasons of like fire material for the anime based on like where they are in the manga. So like the anime is gonna be fine for a while, even if the you know with the delays and the uncertainty with the manga right now, which is crazy. Like I, re- I remember reading last week's chapter, and it was just straight sketches in that John. I was like, is this a stylistic touch? Is he? Is this like what? Right. This is clearly just like unfinished. Too. Like this is just sent in mm-hmm. like your homework and you just like didn't do two pages of it and you just like fuck it. I'm turning it in. <laughs> I was like, did they just publish this show? Just just raw. They were just like, fuck, you get the you get the gist of it. I was uh, like, oh, it's definitely something wrong. But, and then, but my, then they made the announcement right after that. My bad. Sorry, I didn't want to. No, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. My bad thing is like what I hear a lot of times people say they top five, they usually talk about like kind of like new school anime. I don't hear too many about the classics, you know what I'm saying? Like Violence Jack, you know what I'm saying? Black Jack, you know what I'm saying? Nineties shit where it was like real, sh- you know what I'm saying? That was the man, that's shit that got me in anime, that man shit, man 500 D, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like you know that. what I'm saying? Demon Slayer, mm-hmm. like everything. Dope, but it's like, come on, like, I don't hear none, I don't hear no classic type. Speed Racer, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna yeah. say something controversial. I'm gonna say something controversial. Oh, shit. oh. Uh, this 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 is a hot take. Oh, Demon shit. Slayer shouldn't be in nobody's top five. Yeah, like, no, hell no. no. Not seen in anime no. for adults our age. You know what I mean? Time out, time out. I call time out, time out. <laughs> CJ, 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 you made a face. You made a face when he said that. CJ, what what well, no, that, that face was just, I'm staying out of it because, like, I haven't even finished and caught up on Demon Slayer, so, like, I'm, I'm staying out of this one. I'm Demon like, Slayer, I think Demon Slayer is tight, but it's like, like, just like how you said, Siege, like, the new stuff isn't really all the way out there yet. You know what I'm saying? It's still kind of just, it's tight, but it's kind of, like, just beginning. I gotta you know? see how these stories end because, Ooh, like I said, as yeah. we learn from Bleach, something can start great and then and uh-huh. not so great. So, like, yeah. I mean, I ain't even gonna spoil, but the <laughs> ending of Demon Slayer is good. Don't get me wrong. That last arc, is not, it, didn't, it, didn't get, it didn't get bleached or nothing like that. 
you know, but I can, but, you know, and, and, I, and to piggyback off Kage, like, I, mm. a lot of my top five or top 10 is 90. Like, Cowboy Bebop will forever be my number one. Yeah. Yep. Yes, sir. I agree with that. So, so, and you know, Full Metal Alchemist is, is definitely always, always hey, going to be in my top five, too. That's in my top, mm-hmm. you got two of mine. Those are two, two of my top He's, five, hey, too, as well. And when I think, when I think about Demon Slayer compared to Full Metal Alchemist, and I've, and again, I've seen, I've, I've read all of Demon Slayer. I've read all of Full Metal Alchemist. I'm just like, can't make it. Mm. But I can say Jujutsu Kaisen <laughs> can make it. Jujutsu Kaisen can make it, though. What? What? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Oh, in the chat, Dre says, shout out to Oda. Got to respect his work ethic. Work ethic. Speed yes, Racer, Voltron, Astro Boy. Right. Classic. Classic. Astro That's Boy is oh, yeah. now. I, I, I really didn't get into Astro Boy till later, and I realized Astro Boy is actually fire. Oh, yeah. This inspired a lot of things that came after it. Mm-hmm. 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 Right. I, I mean, my my rule of thumb is nothing can make my top five or top ten unless it's done. Manga or anime, like mm. as long as the manga's mm. done, I have to know how the story is going to end. That was my I was holding off on putting Attack on Titan in my top ten because like I wanted to see how the manga ended first. I was like, I don't know if they're going to Game of Thrones this or are we going to like get a good ending. So, like I said, Game of Thrones and Bleach, those are two things they burn me too bad. I got to see the ending or something <laughs> before I crown it mm-hmm. and crown you know, it because feel- sure. it looks like it's going to be a goat. <laughs> that's why i'm with I you would. like the classics the solid cowboy bebop neon genesis evangelion full right. metal alchemist like i'm for some proven commodities yeah, yeah. i'm not gonna lie yeah. like like real shit though like my, my fault i mean cut everybody no, no, off, no, but, go ahead, go ahead. but you know what i'm saying but like honestly like it's a whole bunch of shit though like overall like trigon you know what i'm saying samurai mm. champ blue mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like like that's like that's my shit too you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong like I like all of that shit, but it just like the overall, you know what I'm saying, story and like, you know what I'm saying, like the fighting and the aspects of like the whole detail of how everything, like don't get me wrong, like I haven't watched the manga of like a lot of shit in so many years, but the anime and, and the detail, how they do this shit now is way better compared to when we was kids, like in fucking what, 01, 2000, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, you gotta yes. think about that shit. Like that shit changed so much though. Wait, what do you mean? Like the, when you say the old one in two thousand, what what do you mean? Like, I'm talking about like I'm talking about like the detail, like how they draw the shit. So the what I can say is animation. If we yeah. compare, so let's say a popular anime for the two thousands era was Naruto, right? Like that was two thousands era. Naruto had everything on lock. If I had to compare Naruto's current, you know, animation to like Demon Slayer's and Demon Slayer tops, Demon Slayer and Tower yeah. of God animation is insane. Mm-hmm. Well, like, well, that's mm-hmm. the reason. Well, they've changed the format. That's what we were talking about earlier. Those weekly shows that try to cram 35, 40 episodes in a season, those budgets had to be stretched out. But now what they've learned now for things like My Hero Academia and uh, Jujutsu Kaisen to do them seasonally, because if you're just spreading your budget over 26 episodes or 20, you can get a lot higher animation quality rather than trying to do the Naruto thing or do the One Piece thing where, you know, unless those episodes are big, landmark episodes that they skimp on the animation because they got to spread that animation budget over like a hundred episodes so you're going to get filler Mm -hmm. you're going to get static animation you're going to get inconsistent animation rather than if you get 26 episodes and you can focus your budget on yes you get less episodes but as we've all stated the animation quality on stuff like demon slayer and jujutsu kaisen is incredible Mm -hmm. you know what i think demon slayer and 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 and, uh my hero academia did great too man Having having actual watchable anime movies like with higher like budgets and things like that. Like, don't get me wrong, we had good anime movies in the sense of you know you had your Dragon Ball Z movies, you had your Gundam Wing, Endless Waltz. Um, man, me too, bro. Me too. So you had some good movies here and there, but now the the these now these anime movies the quality is insane. Mm, yeah, yeah. The last uh, Dragon Ball Z like, movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah, Super yeah. Broly was dope. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that was crazy. Time that day. that new art style, Took that was back. that was a different type of art style. I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. this is this is actually rocking for me. Dude, did y'all see the last? Uh, did y'all see the last uh, Fate movie? Uh, oh, I got to send y'all that fight. The last fight, the animation on that. I was just sitting there. I was like, God damn! Like, 
my stuff ain't in 4K, but it feels like I'm watching 4K. <laughs> it was insane. So even like these uh, child properties, they're trying to have people grow up with the properties from the from their childhood. Mm-hmm. Like that last Digimon movie had higher production values and like oh, was man. randomly geared towards adults for no reason. It's like, hey, you want to you want to be sad? Like what? This is a Digimon <laughs> movie, right? Like they're well, they're gonna die. Like what? <laughs> it just gets all dark, and it's just like they're mm-hmm. they're capitalizing because they know that their audience who were kids back then are adults now. Uh, Let's be real though. Digimon always had uh, pretty messed up undertones. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. pretty dark sometimes. I mean, it, honestly, like, I, I mean, like, Digimon was very underrated, honestly, though. Big time, bro. Everybody cared about Pokemon. I was like, Digimon is where it's at. Yeah, uh, bro, it really was. Oh, I heard they coming out with a new, uh, Digi- like, they updated Digimon Tamers and coming out with a new Ooh. version, oh, which Ooh. may be lit. Because the last, the best, the best. Okay, the last okay. Digimon Adventures was lit. Hercules Kabuterimon, you hear me? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. What they know? What they know? know? What they know? Mm. The Welcome boys back, Dad, Daddy Dog. Welcome back. Mm. Oh, he's, he's figuring out his audio. He's almost got it. Hey, he's almost there. Hey, I'm not gonna. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This shit got lit. Uh, I like this type of shit. Hey, man, you know, welcome to the fast squad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I got invited by Don for the uh, uh podcast. I had fun just hanging out, talking about anime for real with some cool ass niggas. She was tight. Hey, yeah, hey man, that's lit. <laughs> yeah, man. Did uh, is Nova back? Yeah, he back. Oh, he yeah. muted. All right. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, we're gonna we gonna we gonna segue into the next joint, man. What was the uh, uh, yeah, fuck, I'll, be, I'll be there a little later. And rest rest in peace and and, yeah, and, and get well to all the artists that's out here getting sick and struck because Tower Guy yeah. on hiatus still too. You know, that man been on indefinite hiatus for how long? So, so. Like five minutes ago. You know. Mm-hmm. I came out of like but uh, what was what was the next topic, bro? We had, oh, we had the versus battle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah. No. Some uh, there we go. Some old school versus new school versus battles. Um, obviously, y'all know I've been on a vendetta trying to figure out what is better or what isn't better than My Hero Academia. <laughs> um, yeah, what, what's up with that? Can you elaborate? I, I want to. Yes, 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 like, yes. Thank you. Uh, thank uh, you. Uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. Later has been insane. The slander has been insane. Listen, it's not I've been slander, on the phone bro. with Nick. I've cursed him out. I've, we we talked about it. We, it's not slander, and he bro. does have some points. So expound on it, please. Yeah, please yeah. I'm it. just curious. What, 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 hold on. What started this? Was it the either it was the Hunter X Hunter or the Yu Yu Hakusho argument that started? Like, we're trying to figure out where my hero places on the totem pole in like a top 100. Because he told we were, me and Hook were on the phone one day. We we found a top 100 list. To have my hero academia rated very highly. And I was like, you know, a lot of these, majority of those to me were way better than my hero academia. <laughs> and so I was just like, okay, you can show better. Hunter X Hunter, better. Yep. Uh, you know, obviously you when you full metal alchemist don't need to be said, but I even said stuff like, you know, Kyote Hitman Reborn, better. Um yep. So, but they had all stuff like that as my hero being higher. So I was like, my hero academia is overrated because mm-hmm. they're putting it in the my hero academia on that list was in like top 10, I believe. And I was like, my hero academia wouldn't make my top 50 personally. 50? Wait, what? That's kind of low. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. man. Hey, man. Not top 50. Come on, son. Like, is, is it because that gonna be crying? That's yeah, I gotta see what the chat <laughs> says about that one. Holy Bro, hell. I just gotta think when I'm like, you know, and I'm and I go through it based on like errors, like whatever my top 10 or 15 was oh, of each error, man. you know. And my hero academia might have had a slot, but then I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer, Tower of God. Um I can't say Attack on Titan no more. If it wasn't for this last little bit, Attack on Titan would have been up there, but now it gotta fall out. So um it's that's really unfortunate too. Um the then you got some really bad. <laughs> um, hey, you got some hey, really obscure ones. You got Fate Apocrypha. Hey, hey Nick. Hey, talking about uh, My Hero Academia. You ain't you, you lying if you didn't say you ain't never been a shorty and been like Detroit Smash, nigga. You, I ain't you, never I, said that in my. I ain't never even. <laughs> you, see, you probably thought it in your head, like 
One oh, time, man. Trying to get us Ultra in that joint. Come on, Doc. I mean, that was the lit, the Detroit smash. That was the littest <laughs> moment in my hero, right? Like, I mean, granted, it's still going. No, I mean, the Detroit smash part where he was, you know, all for one versus all might. That was like the best part, right? I wouldn't say it. Well, my my only thing, well, I'll, I'll add to your argument is like, my hero academia is not finished yet, so it's kind of right, hard to rank right. it in an all times like list against like a Yu Yu Hakusho or something that is like right it's finished when like my hero academia we don't even know how much story is that we don't know if we're at the halfway point we don't know if we're at the three quarters point we don't know even how close we are to the finish line of my hero academia well that, so that really adds to my argument to crown bro, it, of it that adds to my argument of it being overrated and I'm like people well, are sitting here looking I, at I all these things saying that my hero is better than these complete things and I'm like how are y'all saying it's better than them you know, it's not even done. A couple, your- couple <laughs> things here. Sorry. Um, couple things here. Uh, f- first, I, I do. I, when when me and Nick was arguing about my hero, he did have a point that the stakes are really, really low or non-existent if nobody really dies. But put a pin in that. But in the chat, Dre says plus ultra in that book. Uh, now, what were you saying, Kage? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, like, because it's like, um, with My Hero Academia, it's like, Nick, what, what is your, like, points that you're saying is overrated? Because I think that joint is fly for real. I mean. Good. It's just not done. Not- That's the only <laughs> complaint I have. It's on its way to being. Here's, here's, go ahead, bro. Here's uh, my thing. If I had to, and, and if I had to compare, all right, let's, let's just, let's just talk about new, new school animes, right? The new schools we got going on. My Hero, Demon Slayer. Uh, Tower of God. Uh, what else is some currently going new school animes right, right now? Um, I think Fate Grand Order just finished. Um, gosh, I'm trying to think of more. God of God of High School, but that anime, I mean, it was a little crazy. Um, uh, reincarnated as a slime. Um, That's what else we got? But you that, again. Comparing it, I mean, my bad. What's the what was you like? Because you're the not. The point I'm trying to make is out of all those, those are all current era animes. Um, Re Zero is My Hero Academia better than any of those? Get him, dog. Uh, okay. Get him, dog. Yes. Get him, dog. He said better than repeat. repeat is it is is it sorry. better than Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer, Re Zero? <laughs> um, uh, oh, maybe even maybe even. Tier. I think it's I think it's that terrible. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I think saying it's better is, depends on your pain, but I like can compete with them. It's already, I call my young shooter Deku, nigga. What the- <laughs> oh, I call oh. Deku, nigga, I look up to all my nigga. Come on, man. It's, dude, I've never seen superheroes in anime like that, like, for what, real, what? Like, oh. like that. Oh, hold on, Don, you had something you like, you was rearing to go. Please, please. Is, your audio isn't working. <clears throat> Can't hear you. Can't hear you, bro. Still can't okay. hear you. While his thing is working, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He'll fix. Deku is comparable to most of the other anime protagonists. Naruto. Um, come on, you know what I'm saying? What's the other ones? Naruto. Uh, that cry a lot. Naruto. What's what's the other protagonists that cry and then do some fly shit later? Um, I can't remember the other ones. Luffy, I don't want to compare, Come on, man. bro. Naruto, bro, bro Naruto. Naruto can... be happening. So hold on, hold on. His, his, who, who was Deku's first big win? It was the Muscle Dude, right? It was the Muscle? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. What a tank! Yeah. First off, the right. tank jump. Do you do you think that his win over Muscle Man was better than Naruto's win over Haku? Yeah. See, that's something, because it's like, that's, I mean, that's, kind of, like I said, that's kind of, I think, yeah, yeah, because he I saved did. somebody, <laughs> man. Up. He said, Naruto <laughs> saved Sasuke, Deku saved that kid that was murdered by, I think was murdered by uh, that dude. By. He, you, what the fuck? Hell yeah. I don't know, man, that Haku fight, man, the Zab, the Zab was over in there, that drug, Kakashi, so we got to see what Kakashi could do a little bit. Feel like it was too lit, bro. All the other heroes fighting other, they doing their own thing too. I mean, now Yamakage yeah. did pop off the little right. shad, the, the raven dude. He his, yeah. his part was his car, his part was cool. Yeah, 
Also got a response to one of the things about it having low stakes. It does start having low stakes, my hero academia, but where they are in the manga now, the stakes have dramatically yes. increased. Like yeah. n- niggas have died. Things like main characters have been wiped off the board and like the status yes. quo has been changed drastically in a much darker direction. Like it did start very light for a long time. And you know, it was it was I, I agree with that for yeah. about halfway through the story, but it has taken a turn. And and See, Nick, oh my bad. Uh, so I was just going to say, I thought that my hero was going to get deeper into it when they was fighting Overhaul. Because the way Overhaul's power was set up, I was just like, nobody can't, everybody can't make it out of this okay. But right. but after the Redestro part and everything, all right, now it's definitely, because I don't want to spoil it for the only anime only watchers. Now, this kid just Naruto ran past my car. And then, and then, like, <laughs> like everybody talk about they want more black represents in the anime. You got some of the flyest black characters in My Hero Academia. Okay, bu- Bunny Shorty, Bunny Shorty is a beast. The Bunny Shorty, and you got the dog that his 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 seed is so effective that it looked like a damn near clone of him. He had the broad like, yes, come on, man, the dude was intelligent. Ain't yeah. on no spoon shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah. My hero picked up. Hey, my uh, hero has picked up. I ain't, I ain't even gonna hold you. I ain't even gonna hold you. My hero, the last like month, my hero has picked up big time. Like the stakes, let me not even say month. The last two months, the stakes has definitely gone up by a lot. I hope they can keep this trend because now you feel they gotta be, there's gotta be stakes. There's gotta be tension. You gotta know that like to compare it to those legacy animes, there's gotta be like a Oh man, if this goes bad, it's real bad. So my hero is at a point now. If if my hero gets over this hump and then it ends, mm. it is great. If it gets over this hump and then goes back to like lighthearted what the heck for like another two years, then I'm gonna be confused. But it the thing is not even lighthearted. Like, look, if you pay attention, look at the dialogue between All Might and um the uh one for all dude. If you pay, mm-hmm. I pay attention to that dialogue to, I use this shit to this day. That was some gangster shit they were talking about. Oh yeah, the, uh, the villain dude is like, like you know, he was just chilling back, just talking and shit, and then behind glass and shit. While um, the uh, what's the uh, my uh, what's the dude uh, one all might was just getting frustrated, and mad as shit, and he was like, hey man, like real talk, people don't like it when you tell the truth, man. That's and he was just, that was like the most pimped out gangster. I still use that shit today, just fuck with people. That's that's why I like anime. You just learn some real shit, dog. I don't know what you smoking, dog. My hero. <laughs> mm. See, but his <laughs> argument I'm, I'm isn't that it's not tight. Like, like kind of like oh, we, 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 we can hear you now, dog. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go I mean, ahead, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, you know, you know a lot about anime. I'm like to say, like, like uh, my hero, damn it, isn't even on fifty. Come on, dog. Not, what it can't be, be said, yeah. But hold on, let's get no man. Let's get no man. All right, all right, all right. So now I'm back in it. Um, first of all, going back to what you originally said, to say that my hero is not better than something like Re Zero when it's not done, and Re Zero has so many, so many renditions already. Eh, that's a little unfair of a fight. Um, I like my hero's concept. Are they executing properly? You got people who are definitely very interested in the, oh, everybody's in high school, everybody has their own quirk. And then you got this one Naruto ass nigga right here who, like you said, and I know you guys don't really watch, or I know you guys probably don't read the manga, but yeah, this man is literally Naruto plus Sasuke right now. What are y'all doing? Why do you have, <laughs> anyways, anyways, it's okay. I, I, I can see why he would say it doesn't even make it to the f- top 50 in his opinion, especially when you consider how long he's been watching anime. When you have that many under your belt, yeah, you could see how this anime starts dropping down the list, especially when it's not done. Come back to not me when 50? it's finished. Yeah, Come back to so, me when so it's piggyback finished. off of Nova, 50. 50. Be- 50. Because, because my hero is not done, so I'm going to agree with CJ on this one here. See, be- when it is done, and I'll give it another two, three years, maybe. Um, and I say maybe oh in the sense of like, I feel like I feel like it's reaching a peak. And so it maybe it might be over soon, might not be over soon. But then I feel like if I give it more time and then place it, it would have the opportunity to potentially enter into a top 50 discussion, maybe even a top 25 discussion if they land the plane really, really well. <laughs> I also think Nick's kind of jaded. 
from uh, <laughs> a oh, couple man. of heartbreaks, <laughs> a couple of series oh. that could have been really, really excellent. And just Bleach could have been one of the greats. Oh, bro. God. He's yeah, I mean, saying it. it. Yeah, Bleach could have uh, been one of the greats. I mean, yeah. It That's what it is. But, uh, Bleach, no. Too much, too much filler. I, I don't know. Oh, God. Bleach, mm. oh, Bleach had the chance, bro. They almost could have made it, bro. Uh, Even they, the example you gave earlier, been, um, Attack on Titan, been. although it didn't have a, a terrible ending, it, it like didn't land as well as people thought. You know, they exactly. didn't dunk it; they kind of like rimmed in a layup of uh, you know to end the story. So it's like it, it's 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 all right, but like people are expecting that windmill dunk, and you know a lot of people didn't feel that it was that, so it, it dropped down some people's list a little bit from some Attack on Titan. Go ahead, oh, go ahead, my bad. No, no, straight up. No, I was just going to say something that could have been in a lot of people's top five. I hear, you know, just other people's mm-hmm. opinion that it dropped quite mm-hmm. a bit for them because of the ending. I mean, I feel like the ending was solid, but I, I see the problems with it as well. So, like, I, I don't feel like it was an A-plus ending, but I feel like overall the series is still incredible. Attack on Titan went from being, like, must-watch TV to, like, oh, okay, it's good. It got Game I mean, of Thrones. It got, it got Game of Thrones hard. Yeah, I'm just it, it, put this on the video here just so people can see. It's just real, you know? <laughs> you playing no games, nigga? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think it was as bad as Game of Thrones. I mean, Game of Thrones, like, TV show, that was truly horrendous shit at the end there. Like, what the fuck? Shit the whole like band of, of the whole series. But I don't think Attack of Sight was that bad at the end, but I do, I do feel people's <laughs> criticisms, though. There was... It was not a perfect when the author literally has to add pages like two weeks later because he's like, I didn't, I didn't like that. Let me, let me throw some, let me throw something in there. Well, I gotta add a little frosting or some Man. sprinkles on that. It's kind of bland as is. Yeah. Um, can I ask you a question, oh Mr. My God. <laughs> Mr. Go Why did you not like the ending of Game of Thrones, the video, I, the, the show? I thought that shit was lit. Everybody got what they wanted for real. You know what I'm saying? Bro, hey, man, bro what? The president, damn it! Oh. Right, what? what? You, you thought the end of, the, of Game of You yeah, thought I the thought end of Game of Thrones was good? Yeah, oh, Lord. Well, as somebody who just watched Game of Thrones for the first time, like just binged it, it fell off kind of at the end. It was kind of horse shitty at the end of the last couple seasons, but yeah. it was it was fine. It was fine. I was entertained throughout, you know. Everybody, everything cool. The the little the little butch princess uh, girl, shorty, that got her cherry broken. She she got to travel the world and do what she wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Then all you is imagine. Hey, look. Imagine this. Imagine if it was us, all the homies just chilling. We about to rule the whole damn world forever. Ain't that tight? Come on, man. A crazy bitch got murdered and shit. He got all I'm gonna t- I'm tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why Game of Thrones ended poorly, bro. And it wasn't just because of the ending. It was oh, it was because of characters. Like char- the character development and progression bottomed out very very quick. All of a sudden, you had people who were intelligent for four seasons making the decisions based off of emotion. I mean, all you of had a sudden, to- no, you didn't have to. You got to hold those kids. Characters don't change. Humans don't change that quickly. You it's know, you show. had Tyrion who is different. You had, different, but yeah, I the show originally family. followed the book. They just started doing what the fuck moves. Jamie started doing stupid shit. Tyrion started doing stupid shit. Snow started doing stupid shit. Everybody just all of a sudden started herp derping in the same direction at the same time, and they all just walked oh. off into a cliff. Oh, oh, hold on, Nick. Nick. CJ is seething right now. He's bathing in the flames of this show. He's bathing in the flames of this show. He's had enough. His CJ, you feel me, right, bro? No, right now. I'm, I'm, I'm totally with you. No, like, I'm, I'm agreeing because on, it was man. just, I, I want to reiterate, like, I was the biggest Game of Thrones fan. Me I read too, all the books. Bro. I was all caught up in everything. Oh, when they it. ran out of books, mm. that shit fell off a cliff. The stakes were gone. Like the, oh. the people that got plot armor out of nowhere, as he said, characters that were incredibly intelligent became just stupid as hell, like Tyrion. And like you said, some people are just like, well, we don't have anything for them to do. So he's just going to be dumb now. Like I'm- they they rushed 
the character development as he said like oh danny wasn't supposed to be a crazy lady that crazy lady turn happened in like two episodes three episodes yeah. after what seven eight seasons of they her spent not the whole season of her like i'm gonna break the targaryen curse never mind i'm a stereotypical targaryen never mind it's cool burn everybody that's what we do i mean she went yeah. through a lot man though for real you know what i'm saying she went Are through you? a lot to not be a stereotypical targaryen that was the whole point it's a I know that's what she was known for. That's the yeah, okay. That's like saying if everybody's parent in this in this pod is a crackhead, then we're gonna be a crackhead. I mean, but we got certain tendencies, you know what I'm saying? We ain't we no ain't the fuck I don't shit. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> the writing fell off the cliff. First of all, Danny got a dragon killed because she forgot about the fleet, literally from the Dan and Dave, whatever their names are. Oh, she forgot Bro. about the iron fleet. She forgot about the iron fleet, she couldn't see the iron fleet. Because the Iron Fleet, oh, they're so dangerous because they can kill dragons with a scorpion. Then the next episode, she ends all the scorpions with one dragon. Like I thought the, the scorpions could kill the dragons. Like, oh, no, no, no. Be okay, see, up. I didn't read the book, Respect, but I'm just saying the ending, like, all that fuck shit that was happening, niggas getting, like, the Red Wedding, that was some fucked up shit. I yeah, thought that, the Red Wedding was dope. Positive, at least, you know what I'm saying? Jon Snow got to chill. With the the red the, the the whatever he got to be the king of them people you know what I'm saying I thought it was cool you know what I'm saying I don't know oh yeah I mean you know happy ending and everything for the for the last few snow you know last few Starks and all that good stuff but it was more so the fact that if you watched the show everything that happened the way it ended should not have happened that way no 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 I gotta jump in one more time when they hit you with who had a better better story than Bran everyone. Everyone in the show had a better story than Bran. Bran had the worst story. He, he was gone for a whole fucking season. Hey, no one noticed. Hey. Like, there was like a whole like season five. Bran wasn't even in it. He, he, hey. he went to become a tree man or tree boy. <laughs> that was his story. And then everybody look, had look. all these amazing stories. Jon Snow, Arya, all this. Yeah, Who had a better story? Who should be king he's other like than Bran? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Hold on, hold on. we're going we to we we pause for a second. Him. What type of story you gonna make with a dude that can't do? Hold on, hold on, hold on, man? wait. We gonna pause for a second. Door. We, only, we gonna pause for a second. I'm gonna say we gonna pause only because the point of this was supposed to be about anime, not the failing of Game of Thrones. Wait, wait let me just say something. I'm thinking about the, the princesses and stuff, and they fucking bitches. He can't do shit. What type? Come on. <laughs> What's there for you to do? I mean. Make an alliance with some unholy raven creature? Yeah, that's it. That's bro. That's he's yeah, Bran bro. was supposed to be the greatest magic, magician of all time, bro. Literally, that's all I gotta say about that. All right, go, but, go ahead. What, what else you got? <laughs> I, 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 I'm a, I'm. If, if CJ's ready to get off Game of Thrones, I'm ready to get off Game of Thrones. I think I'm, me and CJ are so in the same line. Okay, I could do this. All, I don't want to <laughs> raise that, my that blood pressure. Podcast. Let's get off of Game of Thrones, itself, please. Within itself. Oh, uh, yeah. we forgot, uh, Don, we was talking about before you got back on, we was talking about has your top five changed in the last five years? Um, I'd have to make a top five like right now and I could tell you that it wouldn't be the same as if you had asked me that question six months ago. Not necessarily mm. because I've watched a bunch of new shows, but because of the way some have landed the way mm. I some have progressed. I mean, I just learned today from you guys that uh, Jujutsu Kaisen guy is going to be indefinitely suspended. That sounds super familiar, like uh, Hunter x Hunter. Please don't. Yeah. That, that, that still hurts me, bro. <laughs> yeah, that stinks. That still, still hurts me, bro. So now to see something like that, it's like, okay, now I can't even be happy that there's another show that I like. And another show that I like ended, regardless of how it ended, regardless of like general opinion, I still like to tack on Titan. It would probably still go in my top five. Mm, respect. Um, but I mean, now it's like, okay, I'm, I'm now in that kind of realm of now I got to find something else to watch, knowing that uh, two of my shows have just been gunned down. Yeah, no, you know, I agree with you on that. Uh... If Jujutsu Kaisen gets Hunter Hunter, I'm gonna be sad, bro. <laughs> Especially because of the fact that Tower of God is also on indefinite hiatus. That hurts because I just thought I watched that show. Now, oh, don't really? get me wrong; they have enough content for Tower of God to go like a good five more seasons, five six more 
you know, anime seasons. Because, and the, yeah, go ahead. The manga just started up again. No, no, it, they were just releasing the chapters that he finished. It's not officially back yet. You're making me sad. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. That's it I'm might, so it glad might, I got a J right here, man. It might not be out next week. It might not be back out the, the week after, bro. I'm so I'm sorry, it's, especially because they about I, to go into a big art, a big fight too. And I did and notice it. that some of the art, some of the um drawing was shitty, like by their standards, by their own standards. I would look at that and be like, "What the fuck is happening?" After five years, I thought somebody was aging. I thought they had less people on the team. Maybe some of their guys caught COVID. I mean, that stuff happens. I I will let quality of of drawing and stuff like that slide if you guys just decide to push something out i understand that how that forcefulness comes about so i usually you know i'll dock it a star i'll give it four stars that week but it's not going to affect the the anime or the manga as a whole but to know that it's stopping again makes me very sad boy yeah uh tower of god has been on indefinite hiatus for like i don't know six months now six months plus yeah, the Jujutsu Kaisen thing was especially concerning as well, too, because of the Twitter statement that he made talking about how he wanted to finish the story up or how they wanted to finish up the story. Like, like I'm getting worn down and I just want to get this over with, like, so the story can be done. Like, and everyone else is like, slow, slow, slow down, player. Hold on a minute, player. This is a good story. We, we loving this. And that sounds like what editorial did. Like, how about you take a break and come back and give us more chapters instead of trying to wrap this up in 20 chapters or so? Hey, uh, Dre says <clears throat> a woman does Kaisen, she will be all for a month. Tower of God is back, the writer is back. We'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Yeah, oh, he, get, he said something else. He said he released a blog post stating oh, okay. his health has improved and that Webtoons want him to start releasing chapters again. All right, good, good, because I need that to come back, right? I need that. Um, thanks, Dre, appreciate you, Dre. All right, boys, let's get into uh, played out anime tropes. I know we've seen it. We got those for days. Let's go ahead. Let's, 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 let's start this one off with my boy, Nolan. I think somebody already said it. I, and you know what? I'm kind of mad that y'all said it. I, I hate, I hate, I hate bitch boy protagonists. I hate mm. <laughs> that guy I can't relate to. Like, I cannot relate to you if you're a bitch. <laughs> Hey, with a slap deck in the face. No, no, man. With a slap deck in the face. Much. And them real shit be happening in them animes and shit, man. No, but what, what bitch boy tropes are you talking about, anime? And let <laughs> he talk me, about Deku. I mean, if we must go down the list, I don't even want to talk about my hero anymore. Let's let's talk about let's something talk about else like mm, Parasite. I saw that recently. What the fuck? You saying that nigga's a bitch? He was a bitch for the first 18 episodes, then magically okay. got okay. absorbed more by okay. the uh, Hold on, I got to say something. I got to say Go something ahead. real quick. Because you mentioned Parasite, and I forgot about that. Parasite's fucking fire. Yeah. Like, yes, it was. One of my Parasite's favorite. fire. One of my Parasite's, favorites of all Parasite time. might be in... Parasite, not my... Parasite's in top 50. I ain't going to say no man. Know. sit there. Oh. What the? Come on. I let it hover there. I let it hover. It might hover around the bottom <laughs> or like right in the outskirts. But Parasite was uh, came out of nowhere and it was fire. <laughs> oh man! The main character of Parasite is not a bitch, sir. He was, <laughs> he, he yes, was he constantly, oh. constantly like, "Should we do this? No, that's dog. That was gotta, the weirdest uh, shit that was happening. They was and, taking over and, the and, and <laughs> the Parasite was literally there saying, "Listen, I'm." Cold logically telling you, hey, you got two options here do this or die. Uh, well, isn't there another way? Or can we get it? Uh, yo, yo, Miki was like, look, either you kill these niggas or I kill your family and then you. And he's like, I don't know what to do. Miki was not playing with him. Miki <laughs> was bro, not playing with him. Miki was about that life. He was not playing with him. I don't think he was a bitch. Miki was the gangster. I'm, come on, man. <laughs> I think I think the problem. So so to piggyback off of Nova, I think what Nova's gripe is is that as humans, we adapt to situations very fast, even if they're unfavorable. And a lot of these anime protagonists don't seem to adjust, you know, to their to their to their situations quickly. Wait, give me 
Give me another hold one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who got, who got a, uh, Dre says, what about characters like Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul or Aaron from the <laughs> Bank? They instantly go on the list. What? So, yeah, Kaneki counts. Literally up until he, he had to be had broken. That, he had that psychological break. He was bitch made. He had to be broken. Yeah, until yeah. he literally got tortured. Go ahead, CJ. He yeah, said Aaron from Attack on Titan. I wouldn't say that he, I mean, um, he had an arc. Like I said, he had a hell of an arc. I mean, he went, yeah. so I wouldn't call him a bitch. He, to he be honest, I wouldn't be count turning him. up at the end of that story doing unspeakable things. Aaron, <laughs> I, don't think. I wouldn't call Aaron a bitch because Aaron purposefully became a soldier to fight Titans. All right. All right. Anything, he was he was too much on the other end of that. My man went yeah. hard at the Aaron end. Of wasn't, story. Aaron wasn't a bitch. He just wasn't talented. Right. <laughs> like, Honestly, a lot of the big characters in anime aren't the main characters, it seemed like to me, for real. And, that's, you know, that's also true. That's also mm-hmm. true. But well, my gripe well, is when it is the main character. What, mm-hmm. what other tropes are there? I have one. I have a trope that's really, really bothering me. It's really um, scary, bro. The only, my trope is that I have a problem with is the heavy 1A. You know, like, the heavy 1A is a Goku or a or you know somebody that is the only person that could vanquish this person is the only person that could put somebody down is we waiting on him to pull up to put this person down <clears throat> your goku your ichigo your uh thank you your um I'm trying to think who, who else um saitama saitama uh i know there's i know satirical <laughs> but you know yeah, that's on purpose. Uh, like, I think some of that is mostly like a power scaling issue for a lot yeah, of these mob. shows. Mob, of course. Yeah, right in that same thing. Mob does it perfectly, though, in my opinion. Um, yeah, even if even some obscure ones, Psychopaths, uh, Darker Than Black. Darker like, Than Black like was them. an extreme. Yeah, that was an extreme. Those were both extreme examples of like the main character was the only one who could really scrap the villain. Otherwise, everybody yeah. else got washed. I don't know if either uh, of you, any of y'all have seen those two. I hadn't uh, seen the second one, but I gotta yeah. I gotta watch that now. I would mm. you could almost argue something like Death Note in that scenario. Mm. Well, who's the protagonist of Death Note? Is it light or is it L? Yeah, exactly. It's light. <laughs> yeah, but I mean the protagonist because he makes it through the whole story. <laughs> like, I mean, not that's... to be spoilish for Death Note, it's old now, so but... <laughs> I mean, I just feel like, but Death, but Death Note, I wouldn't count Death Note in that regard because Death Note's side characters, carry, they definitely can help carry the story. Like, like L, the L light parallel was one, two the whole way. No, yeah, it was brilliant. The first half of Death Note was a masterpiece. And then like, yeah. it ended like fine. Like the yeah, second well, half of it was fine. Nier and Milo kind of made it eh, but uh, you know, because they weren't as yeah, nearly was... as captivating as L was, but but still, like it ended fine. But I yeah, think I going think... back to Hook's point, I think it's more of like a power scaling issue for a show like Dragon Ball Z or for a show like Naruto or for even like My Hero Academia. Like eventually, like Deku and Bakugo or Vegeta and Goku or you know, Sasuke and Naruto, they get so powerful that the Krillins of the world, the the Nejis, other people, they don't really have anything to do. With. Damn, Nejis hey, is going to say, Nejis is going to say, you can not never not take a straight, oh, bro. Nejis took a straight. Hey, Nejis. Anybody, any of the supporting characters, insert whoever in support, the Ten Tens and Sakura, whoever you feel is. Jeez, no, you said right. Nejis. Go with that one. Go with that one. Jeez. Sakura, yeah, right. Sakura was unfortunate, especially since she was a member of Team 7 and she just definitely fell off. Signing, apparently, I don't know. Hey, hey. Hey, where does Ten Ten be pulling out his scrolls from? Like, Shardy, like, what, what are you like what? Hey, man, she a ninja, bro. <laughs> hey, ninja, hey, man. we got in the chat, Dre says, uh, so y'all like the Itadoris, Astas, and Tanjiro's OP main characters. Cannon fodder is greater hold than on, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. Tanjiro is not an OP. Tan- if anything, Tanjiro well, they, they, is they're than- that, that's separate from you know the two separate subjects he was talking about. Oh, oh okay. Say what that yeah. subject was. Sorry. Yeah, what? Huh. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, we was talking about the whiny main character. You well, the bitch boy is that. Gotcha. John stated. The, the bitch boy. <laughs> so you're yeah, saying the opposite. The opposite. No greater character that encapsulates that than 
Shinji Ikari from Neon Genesis Evangelion. He is like the blueprint for annoying, un- unlikable, like bitch boy characters as a protagonist. And since that show is so popular and influential, I think that that archetype has been copied by other shows going forward. Mm, I can see that. All right, let's get another one. Who got another uh, trope that they hate? Mm-hmm. What you got? What you got, Kage? Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I don't really hate on too many tropes for real. Like you know, there's just there's so many different types. And I, you know what? To, again, I've honestly never heard about tropes until um, hanging with you guys for real. So yeah. I'm still to that concept for real. I got. I got one. I got. Go I got it kind of goes both ways. It's um. And some so some shows have done this better than others, and some have been able to pull it off. But either the overpowered hero, or like you kind of said, but or and but even worse, the overpowered villain. I think this is what ended mm. Bleach, having a villain so powerful like Aizen mm. that it didn't make sense for anything. It's just like he's you can't you can't beat this guy though. Then so you the had to make a struggle. They themselves in a corner and had to write a stupid reason why he kind of like beat himself. It's just like it's mm. like none of the characters can. They, they just can't beat this guy. That's what Dre said in the chat, OP main characters. I guess that's one of his- Which is so crazy because they made, they for, they came up with a reason for why, for why Genryu Sai couldn't fight him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, that's the fight we all wanted to see. Yeah, and they, they had to make excuses of like, why can't, we can't, shit, we can't beat him. Like they made him so strong. We never even saw his Bankai. Like the whole show, he's just like, I'm just fading like 10 captains at a time with, with just the hands, just just like what? Right, like, and don't even show you the hands. <laughs> they don't even show you the hands. He just people just die or get injured, and like I, I sliced them though. Like he's over there though, but I yeah. sliced them. <laughs> it's just so fucking funny. We're just like, yeah, I can control all your senses. So how the fuck do I beat that? You can, what do you mean? Like all my senses, nigga? Like what? <laughs> so maybe if I slash you really hard, then you'll die. Dre in the chat says, I'm tired of the slime tropes and the oversaturation of the sick guy reincarnation anime. Mm. That's mine. So, so Dre, that's my least favorite trope, the reincarnation trope, you know, reincarnated into another body in a parallel universe, uh, you know, dungeon march. Uh, um, I think the only one who did that trope per- perfectly is ReZero. Obviously, reincarnated in the slime is good. But um, um, Nick, like are you saying the reincarnation, right? But like just like you're saying, like how art, like Japanese culture is like it's reincarnation is a big thing in them them cultures, like Buddha and all them. That's like you bring that up. It's quite interesting. It's, it's, like, it's, so, it, this is within the last five years, anime has gone down this path of reincarnating into a new body in another world where I'm an OP main character and or demon lord or villain or something and I've decided to go the other like they've been the last five years it's gotten so oversaturated of reincarnated into another body or the same body but I have all my knowledge it's like okay cool I was 50 I got transformed into a world you know Mashoku <laughs> Tensei Mashoku Tensei is a great example of that um which Mashoku Tensei is really really good um you know otaku dies goes into another universe wakes up in a kid's body he's the most talented magician this universe has ever seen but the slime joint the reincarnation of slime i thought i like how they did that one because normally in a video you see animes and video games the slime is like the weakest creature but yeah. like, they yeah, made except it. this slime eats a dragon at level one and becomes op yeah i thought i thought how they did that was pretty cool you know yes, there's right. nobody fucking with the slime until like he could be the most powerful creature in the world i'm like oh shit i thought that shit was cool the way they did uh dre in the chat says i agree with nick on this one but i love mo shuku tensai okay okay yeah uh mishoku tensei is really good go ahead dom oh i was about to say that one uh that one show nick just mentioned i actually like that one i've been watching it recently on hulu What's up? It was uh the one where the guy gets reincarnated and he he's a kid, yeah. but uh he's like the most OP magician ever right now. It's uh, I think it's called Jobless Reincarnator, but it's Mishoku Tensei in Japanese. Uh, uh, Mishoku yeah. Tensei is a good example of them doing it well. It's just the fact that there's so many now, and I'm just and also those those portal world ones. There's so many of those. 
you know, SS Suicide Hunter, Solo Leveling, which is good, but you know, so many of those. Uh, we, we're in the era of like, oh yeah, a tower and or portal opened up in our world and I'm the weakest, I'm the lowest rank hunter in all of all time. And, and I feel like Tower of God spawned all those guys. Like Tower of God came out and now all of a sudden we have all these tower and or portal based, um, you know, webtoons out of nowhere. Yeah, they saw the cookie cutter. <laughs> TJ, you look like you had something to say. Uh, no, I was just um, thinking about overpower characters. And um, one of the most re recent examples I think it's been done excellently is something we talked about earlier is Jujutsu Kaisen with uh, Satoru Gojo and how they handle him in the story as someone who's just all out the gate. They just tell you he's the strongest. This nigga's the strongest in this universe. The villains hatch their plans around him being gone or distracting him or sealing him out. They're like, when he shows up, we got to fucking bounce. This guy will wash us. So when we do our evil schemes, it's like based around him not being omnipotent and being not being a god. Like, make sure he's busy doing something else. Then we do our evil scheme. And the fact that how the story has not been hampered by that it doesn't feel like a cheat get out of free jail free car basically where oh gojo just going to show up and solve all the problems they yep. they cleverly have utilized him in the story even though his power level is basically still unstoppable even when they do in the manga the flashback stuff they reiterate that he is basically unbeatable and the undisputed strongest person in that universe but still you don't mind make use of that you know, my favorite thing about Gojo, too, is that even the good guys are afraid of Gojo. Like, the government is like, we want to do certain things, but we can't do it because Gojo might get mad. Uh, yeah, and like I said, it's a brilliant use of the character. Like, I love this. Go for it. Sometimes he's just like, should I just go kill all the higher-ups or something? Because, like I said, they right. should be scared of him because he can just on a whim be like, I'm just going to fucking kill all of them because who the fuck is going to stop me? All yeah. right, in the chat, Dre says, I'm not liking Tokyo Revengers, and Gojo is a beast and not the main character, which is wonderful and refreshing. Yeah, I agree with that, actually. Again, Jujutsu Kaisen knocks the shit out the fucking park. I don't know what going, what's going on with that man, but they need to get that man a good doctor. Is anybody watching Tokyo Revengers? I stayed away from it because I knew what the plot was, and I just got tired of that. It's basically about a, a guy who is he in the future, his high school girlfriend gets killed by some gang members that he used to be a part of. And he somehow is allowed to go back in time in order to save his sister, his, his, the girl that he never got and her brother. He goes and he ends up saving the brother and the brother becomes very successful, but the girl still dies. So the brother is like, hey, remember how you went back in time and told me that this was going to happen? I'm going to need you to go do that again. So the nigga goes back in time like twice. This all to save a girl who never becomes his girlfriend. Right. Duh. Yo, wow. Simping. Captain Saban. Don't save no choice. Yeah, that is super simp saying. Hey. Super simp saying. <laughs> That's the title of the next episode. Level super three, simp though. <laughs> super simp three. Yeah, all right. Man, I can all the topics. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's everything we got. All right. Uh, anybody have any... Uh... Final thoughts, which is, you know, uh, anime yeah. they're watching right now. Oh, I, I got some final thoughts. Like, um, I just want to say, like, um, basically, with everything that's happening in the anime community, like, the non-melanated people know that anime is getting bigger and bigger in the Black community. And I just want to let people know that everybody, if you can, go to BlurCon. It's down the street, Arlington, Virginia. The weed laws are just lax. This week, I mean, the week before the joint, the middle of July, y'all should really be there to just be, you know, be around the black nerds and just network. You know what I'm saying? People are like minds. I just want to say that. But, you know, hey, go anime, you know? Go anime. Yes, yeah, sir. That's actually go a very anime. good idea. It's a very good idea. It's a very good idea. Hey, what, what, date, what date is BlurCon, bro? July, let me, it's like the middle of July weekend, July 16th through the 18th. Hey, fire squad pulling up, man. Too. You gotta be squad guys pulling up. We in there. We vaccinated. in there. Oh, you gotta be vaccinated to go, but I promise you a I'm good vaccinated. There's gonna be so many women, dog. You know okay. <laughs> hey man, we ain't even worried about that, man. We just gonna have a good time, man. Some <laughs> cool people, cool people. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like I said before to y'all. The black nerdy community is like a secret society. You don't know who you're running into. It's gonna be millionaires, voice actors. All that shit, man. Like, do, for real. Do you know how much it is to get in that job? 
like about I about I already got my tickets about sixty three dollars. You know what I'm saying? All y'all dudes be buying weed and apes and shit. Just come <laughs> take your weed money. You know what I mean, dog? I'm gonna be cosplaying at that joint. That the party's gonna be hooked. Everybody gonna be drinking. Everybody gonna be smoking. There's gonna be some freak shit in the hotel rooms and shit. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> they gonna be ready to go. Oh, my god. Jesus Christ! This gonna be on some movie shit, dog. Like for real. I'm not even and, playing. And that's <laughs> how the sausage is made, ladies and gentlemen. That is how the sausage yeah. is made, Plank, everybody. Uh, yep. I'm just is. trying to get more people interested to go because, like, it's fun. Like for real. Like you know what I'm saying? We got you, bro. It's not to me. Go to that shit. Oh, and anime, Otakon, Otakon. Otakon, okay. Otakon in August. Washington, August. Uh, D.C., early August. Come on, anime. It's, con. it's con season, my niggas. It's con <laughs> season. Yeah, it's con yeah. season. Take All right, y'all. Hello. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us on the season two premiere of Nerd 2 Rock Jays. I am the co-host, LK, the guy, the Didi the mogul, for Sniper Elite, for Dab Daddy Don, for CJ from Libby City, a.k.a. Puff Go, Poppy, Kage, and Will. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to follow Fire Squad on all terrestrial DSPs and social media platforms. Thank you for joining us. Tell someone you love them. Gang. Gang. Gang, gang. gang. I did. Um.